Hi and welcome. This video will demonstrate creating a schematic drawing inside of Visio uh, within System Integrator 2015. So we'll go to the Start tab here, go to Projects and uh, Manage Projects. Select the project you want to work with, check it out. And uh, once it's checked out to you, go ahead and double click the file and open it. Now of course you can create a Visio file if you uh, didn't already have one created. And uh, here we are inside of the Visio interface for uh, SI2015. You can see over here your uh, list of products uh, get with the shapes tab here as well uh, in this window. And then of course the project editor, it is also here. Um, it's just in its own floating window. So we'll just minimize that for now. And so the schematic view or the schematic page inside of uh, our Visio interface um, has specific shapes that drop on it, namely uh, schematic shapes. I'll show you where they come from. If you go to the shapes tab here, you'll see we have a schematic and line shape stencil here. Uh, here's a schematic uh, standard shape. We do have a horizontal one, and then there is a um, specific one for speakers. And then, um, of course, we've got the line shapes here. That's a whole other video. And the point of this page is to um, display the inputs and outputs for devices and then make wire connections between them and then you can report off of those wire connections. You can get a wire schedule just by doing a drawing, which is very, very cool. So let's uh, drag a few items over here. We'll pull up the project editor and pull over this device. And then we'll zoom in and take a look at this. So what you have here is a shape that has dropped with the inputs on the left and the outputs on the right for this device. And where that data comes from if you double click the shape here, it will open up the specs for this product within this project. And uh, it comes from the IOs tab here. And you can see over here the inputs on the left, the outputs on the right. And um, this list can be built and modified here within the IO studio. So again, inputs, outputs. This is where you could uh, scroll down if you want to add um, inputs or outputs here. Or if you want to change these, you certainly can. You can add, delete. Um, you have all the functions here to do whatever you want, to get an input and output list for your devices. So, go ahead and close out of this without making any changes to it. And um, let's pull over, uh, in this case, a speaker and a wire. So we'll show here, let me pull this over here. We'll talk a little bit about the shapes that just dropped here. So this is the um, schematic speaker shape that, again, is specific for speakers showing the input for this particular device. And here is a wire shape that dropped. And the wire shape that drops here by default is this one right here, the finish wire. So that's what you're seeing here on the page. Now, if I zoom in a little bit here, uh, this one is dropping graphics on the line ends. And that's a default in the software. Um, and this is showing um, a banana clip, and this side is blank. And where that data is coming from, if you double click this wire and go to the specifications tab here you can see that this is showing a start terminal here of a banana and then an end terminal blank uh, of course this is just your terminal list in the software and you can change this to be whatever you'd like um, and it will drop a graphic um, to represent that connection or you could turn off the graphic if you don't like uh, the graphic and you'll just get an arrow shape here uh, where you turn that off is actually just in your project settings. So I'm just going to open this project up here just to demonstrate that. Um, go here to the Settings tab and click Project Settings. And here you can see um, in this list here, Display line end images in Visio for start terminal and end terminal on wire shapes. It is set to true. If you want to change that to false, you certainly can. Well, back here to the drawing. Let me zoom out a little bit here and we'll make wire connections. So we'll take this wire here, and we'll, you know, actually I'll zoom in a little and make that connection. Grab this end, and we'll just, I'm just gonna randomly pick one of these. We'll do the six here. So now uh, the wire has been attached, and uh, this is reportable data, because we're using um, all shapes from DTools as well as products here from the project itself. You can see they're listed here in this list. The little Visio icon here indicates that those particular items are on this uh, drawing page. But uh, let's run a report. Here under reports, we'll go to uh, installation and we'll run a wire connections report. When you expand this, you can see the different ways you can 
uh, group your report. We'll run this one by wire number. And let me zoom in here for you. So what we're seeing now um, is the wire schedule essentially for um, any connection you make on a schematic page. It's showing you the from device with its component ID, what connection you attached it to. If you recall, I chose six there. Uh, move over here, showing uh, this device that it's attached to, in this case a speaker, then the information about the wire, including the wire number. And now uh, back here in the drawing, let's, uh, I'm just going to disconnect that wire real quick, take a little bit, uh, another look at the shape here. Um, actually, I probably want that connected to show you this first. We'll attach that there. Um, you do have right-click options for um, uh, each one of these schematic shapes. And in this case, if you choose show connected terminals, you notice that it's unchecked by default. Uh, what this really means is show only connected terminals. So this shape will shrink down if I do that to just the connection here that is made. Sometimes that can save you space on a drawing uh, if you've done a bunch of connections, but there's still you know 50 inputs or outputs like on a receiver showing that you're not using. You can collapse the shape by uh, that option there. Now, um, besides the right click, um, as always, you should have your shape data window available to you uh, for um, all of the detail shapes. We take advantage of this um, to be able to, um, again, turn properties on or off, change the functionality of the shape. And uh, if that shape data window is not open, of course, go to View, Task Panes, and choose to show the shape data window. It's just a nice little tool inside of Visio there. Um, now, there is also a schematic um, horizontal shape versus this uh, vertical one. So uh, just as a demonstration, you may find it useful sometimes to use the uh, horizontal one versus this vertical one. So what we're going to do is we're going to change the shape. And this has been demonstrated in probably almost all of the other videos for Visio pages. Uh, changing shapes is very common. You're going to, on the fly, sometimes decide uh, that you want a different look. And then um, sometimes you're going to want to permanently change the shape to say always drop a particular shape. Um, and you, you have the ability to do that. So real quickly, uh, right click and go to D tools, shape, change shape. You'll get a little mini stencil tree here. And in this case, I'm going to go to the schematic stencil and choose schematic horizontal. I won't save any of the defaults down here and we'll just change it. And this is going to regenerate the shape. And then this time you've got your inputs over here and your outputs over here. And this is rotatable. So it could be at the top, bottom, or either side of the page and the text will rotate with it. You can make your wire connections uh, this way. And now we'll show you a few uh, finished examples of uh, schematic drawings. Here is a, a simple example, just showing some straightforward connections. Uh, notice the use of um, just coloring in the lines to indicate different types of wires. Uh, you can certainly do that inside of Visio. And uh, here is one where, you know, some of the actual schematic shapes have been colored in and uh, some background shapes have been added to make things stand out, labels. Um, but again, uh, complete wiring diagrams based off of drawings can be generated um, just by making these wire connections.